Hi, this is Doug Schneider. Welcome back to Real Hi-Fi. A couple of months ago, I produced a video about the NAD C700 integrated amplifier. Today, I want to talk about the C700 again, but in relation to this integrated amplifier, the NAD M10 V2. Why I think it's important to compare these two amplifiers is because I know consumers will compare them too. They have a number of similarities, but also a number of differences. And one of the similarities, by the way, is the size. They're both roughly, if not exactly the same size. They're both from NAD and they're both Blue Oss streaming integrated amplifiers. They both don't have a phono stage though, but they have analog inputs as well as digital inputs. They're primarily designed for digital playback, and that's where Blue Oss comes in. It's a really feature-rich software platform for playing back music, podcasts, internet radio, and other things. But the prices are different. The C700 sells for about $1,500 in the United States. The M10 V2, about $2,750. So quite a different chunk of change. Yet despite that disparity in price, there are five reasons why I would go with the much more expensive M10 V2. But before I get into those five reasons, I wanna say if you want a lot more information on these two integrated amplifiers, read our articles on soundstageexperience.com and soundstagesimplify.com. First, the fifth and least important reason, the M10 V2 comes with this remote control. Not a big thing to have, but a handy thing to have. You can still control both with your smartphone through Blue Oss, but having the remote control is pretty nice. Fourth, the M10 V2 is built a little nicer. The metalwork, the glass top, the front panel, which I'll get to shortly, not $1,250 nicer, but a little bit nicer and worth a bit more money. The third reason, this touch screen on the front. I love it. The C700 has a screen, but it's smaller and it's not a touch screen. That's why it has a volume knob and a couple buttons. But this has no buttons. You control it all through the screen. It works really well. And yeah, that's worth the extra cash, at least for me. The second most important reason is the M10 V2 has a better power amplifier section. It's a little more powerful, it's also a little more refined. Now truth be told, it's hard to say whether you'll hear the differences if you're not overdriving the C700, but it's nicer to have a little more power on tap. And the M10 V2 is rated to output 100 watts per channel into 8 ohms. The C700 is rated to output 80 watts per channel into 8 ohms. And these are measurements we corroborated in our lab. They meet the specs. So while you may or may not need that extra power, if you do, at least when you're paying more money for this one, you are getting more power than the C700. And the most important reason of all, this one supports and comes with Direct Live room correction software. The C700 doesn't have it, nor will it support it at all. And what is Direct Live room correction software? It would take a whole video and more to explain all it does, but think of it as a super advanced equalizer to optimize the sound of the speakers in your room. And this is really important for bass frequencies. So in addition to the M10, you get a microphone that comes with it so you can go through the speaker calibration process that Dirac needs for it to work properly. But once you do that, chances are you're gonna hear a huge improvement in sound. So now you know the five reasons why I would choose the M10 V2. But if someone were to say, I'd buy the C700, I couldn't blame them. In fact, James Hale, who wrote about both on Soundstage Experience, told me he would buy the C700 because it has enough power, it has enough features, and it's a much lower price. So it's a higher value item, at least to him. For me, I see the value in this, so that's the way I'd go. Thank you for watching.